Hello everyone, now I will show you how to set up your D-Link router. And before I start, I would like to remind you that if my video helps you, please support my work. I send half of all donations to animal shelters. All the details are in the description below. So, the first step is to power on the router. Take the power adapter. Connect one end of the power adapter to a wall socket and the other end to the router. Then press the power button. Once it's on, an indicator will light up. It may take a few minutes for it to completely turn on. Next, connect the cable from your broadband provider or from your modem to a special internet port. This port is often called WAN and is usually a different color. Each cable should be inserted until it clicks into place. Now you need to reset the router back to its factory settings. Press and hold the router's reset button for 10 seconds. Wait until the lights on the router start to flash. Sometimes, this button is located inside the router casing to prevent accidental presses. Use a thin object to push it down. The router will restart and all the settings will go back to their original factory settings. Plug one end of the Ethernet cable provided with the router into an Ethernet port. Plug the other end into your computer or laptop's Ethernet card. Please wait a few minutes for connection. Great, the router is now connected to your computer. Now you will need to set it up. But before we begin, I will demonstrate an alternative way to connect the router if you don't have an ethernet cable or your computer doesn't have an ethernet port. Just connect the router to the power adapter and the cable from your internet provider. This will enable Wi-Fi. If the router is new and has never been configured, the Wi-Fi network will be named as your router. Your router has a unique Wi-Fi network name and password that is printed on a label. Connect to it. Great, you've connected to the router. Now let's start setting it up. First, open your web browser and visit the URL you see on the screen. Use the URL bar instead of the search bar. At the beginning, you will see a form with a login and password. Usually, it is admin and admin. If these credentials are wrong, then find label on your router. The credentials are often printed on the bottom of the device. If none of this works, it means that your router has already been configured and someone has changed the login and password. If you can't find out the login credentials, just reset the router to factory settings. And then log into the router's personal cabinet using the standard credentials. If your router settings do not look like mine, it means that your router has a different firmware. I made a video for every firmware type. You can find all the links in the description down below. I want to warn you right away that there are many firmware versions and they may differ slightly. But don't worry, you will succeed, just watch the video and follow the instructions. First, you need to change the default password for the router's admin panel. Now log in to the router's admin panel again using the new password.
Here, you can change the router interface language. I will keep the language as English. To start the setup process, go to the Click and Connect menu. Click Next. On the next page, select your internet provider. From the provider drop-down list, select your country and operator if you are going to configure a 3G network connection, or leave the manual value if you are going to configure a WAN connection of another type or want to specify all settings for your 3G WAN connection manually. Click Next. On the next page, select Connection Type. You can find it in the contract with your internet provider. If you're not sure what your connection type is, choose this one. It's the most common option. Click Next. Enter the connection name. This is not your Wi-Fi network name, so you can leave it unchanged. Click Next. On the next page, you can check the settings. In most cases, they should match mine except for the MAC address. Click the Apply button. Wait a few minutes while the router checks the settings. After the check, click Next. In the next step, you need to select an operating mode for the wireless network. Choose Access Point. Click Next. Then enter the name of the access point. This will be the name of your Wi-Fi network. Click Next. On the next page, you need to set a password for your Wi-Fi network. In Network Authentication, select Protected and enter your password. The password must be at least eight characters long. Click Next. Do the same for the 5G Wi-Fi access point if your router supports it. On the final page, you'll see all your Wi-Fi network details. Check them and save the settings. If you were connected to the router via Wi-Fi, reconnect to the network. If your ISP provides a service to IPTV, you can connect a set-top box directly to the router without using additional equipment. If you are not going to use IPTV, click Skip to Next. Click Apply to confirm the settings. Next, you need to reboot the router. To do this, select Save and Reboot. Wait a few minutes for the router to fully restart. Now check if the internet is working. Just try to Google something. If there's no internet at this stage, call your internet provider. They will tell you your connection type and what other settings need to be configured. That's all. If my video was useful, please support my work. I donate half of all donations to shelters. You can find more details in the description below.